Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. This episode, I'm not going to go to the Twilight Forest to sort out the, um, which one's got to do next? The Hydra. As you can see behind me, I've got a few um, trophies. But I'll do, what I want to do today is a bit more Ember stuff, I think. And I also would like to um, upgrade my uh, little, I want to emboss the shuriken. So I want to emboss it with a, an evil ingot. So let's do that first of all. At the moment I think I've got to go back to the nether to do that. So we'll do that. Now in fact what I want to do is also I'd like to repair some of my armour. It's, um, it's, not it's not in a very a good state at the moment after doing the last bit. So let's just put these two in here. Do I need flight when I'm doing this? No I don't. I can just go straight there don't I? See, that's going to repair itself up. And here, what I've decided I'm doing here is I've basically got some XP in here. And to get the XP into here, I've just got a singularity tank with a tap on it. Just turn it on, and it all goes into the <laughs> into there, as you, see, as you can see. So if I ever need any XP, which I might have not a bad idea to take a little bit with us. And then that will empty out as this goes down. But it will fill up again, as you'll see. It's about halfway now. And all of a sudden it starts to fill up as the mobs get ground. So that's a shared tank. It's shared between the other the other ones as well, so that's fine. So let's go over to the nether. Have I got the evil ingots with me? I should have them. I made some evil ingots here. Oh, I don't want that with me. Oh, and you see I picked up some lots of ember shards and crystals ready for today's little... Uh, task so I would like to do this first because I've got to melt that and I haven't brought this and I'm not going to bring this the um, smell tree over so let's just go over and go to the nether base so I, I think in that way this just simply what will turn off is one ingot's worth so let's just put one ingot into here I think it is I'll double check it in a second so let's have a look knife blade cost material cost one that's fine so I'll put the knife blade into here oh, well, that almost looks like it disappeared and in fact that, as soon as that's ready we can get that done so the other thing we need is a block of gold I've got some gold around it to be honest with you I didn't bring any with me oh, I've got a block phew I've got a block of gold that's uh, good Oh, that's where they went to. I was looking for the chest transporters as it happens. So how's this doing? Well, we'll see in a second when it comes out. We'll just it'll smelt and it'll come out. It takes quite a long time to smelt, as you can see. In fact, it's nearly done. Just wait for it. I think there we go. That should come straight out into here, and then we should get our um, evil infused knife blade. <laughs> Now this is actually a pretty good thing. If you look at the stats on this thing, durability is fairly high and it gives it evil aura. Well, I'm not exactly sure what evil aura does, but the attack damage on one knife blade is actually 13. If you compare that to the attack damage on um, a manilium one, it was nowhere near as much as 13. So now what we want to do is to emboss this. Now if I've got this right, we basically need to put uh, the tool we want to do in the middle. And then we put the knife blade around it like this and then we emboss it so we go around like this and I think this is what we have to do so then it becomes embossed evil infused so it's now got an embossment on it what's that done for damage let's have a look attack is 13.67 I didn't actually check what it was before shouldn't I oh, never mind I forgot anyway so that's now embossed I don't know how much damage it's going to do. Could go and find out, but I'm not sure what to attack. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> well, actually, the, my favourite one would be ju a blazing juggernaut. We could go and do that blazing juggernaut. I just wanted some food for me. So I basically cleared a lot of the stuff away. I've left this, which is to make um, obsidian. I've left all this stuff over here too. This is just the one. Oh, I could take this chest with me. Let's do that. As a chest floating in space, never a good, never a good idea. So let's just take one of those. Oh yes, of course. You'll see that if I try to stack these here, they don't stack, do they? 
Now, I did figure out how the Etsy stacked. You can stack them here like that. They'll stack here. But when, when you take something here, like this, and you put it back in again, and then you replaced it, when I put it down again, it would take the t it puts the two in there. Anyway, don't really mind about that. Small problem. Let's have a look at this. Just about full now of Supremium Essence and su Superior Essence. Yeah. And this one's just, a, it's getting reasonably full from Supremium Essence too, which is pretty good. And in here, that's just about broken. 20 uses left. What I think I'll do is I'll take that with me and put in the this one and then it'll carry on forever and we can actually make some inf the next level up can't remember its name infinite or whatever it's called so anyway so that's that done here I could take this lava yes what colors lava I've quick look three orange okay Because that's a good source for lava. So let's go back to the overworld. What are those dots there? Oh, is that the evil infused business? Ha! <laughs> ha uh -huh. Let's put this away and see if that, those evil infused bits disappear. Oh, they do. Well, that's interesting. I have no idea what that, it, what that means. <laughs> I presume it's going to be a nice little killing machine. Anyway, hopefully it is. So, I've also set up a quarry. Let's go and have a look at my quarry. Oh, it's down here, doesn't it? And I've been moving stuff around. At the moment, I've just basically got everything running from a wireless transmitter here. So everything's... Oh, we need my armour, don't I? Because I want flight if I'm going to go anywhere. So those have come out into here now. So actually, I'll repair the other two bits before we go and do anything else. Let's get those into them being repaired. So let's make the first bit of this next thing for the ember stuff. And I think that's an alchemist thing or other. Let's have a look. Oh, you'll see I've done my chests as well. I've labelled them all. So now we, it's not quite accurate, but it's reasonably accurate. But like mystical agriculture, oh, missed it, is here. So for example, I could put in whatever I want uh, these I could put one of the oh I've actually got one already a master infusion crystal here ready to do the infinite one but I thought I'd just do that what is it now I'll leave it for the time being oh dropping stuff on the floor that's not good that means something's a bit on the full side which means I've got picked up something that doesn't belong a little bit of maintenance I have to do every once in a while. I don't know what I've picked up that it doesn't belong. Potatoes? Okay, right, potatoes. I just bought I thought we had potatoes in here, don't we? Oh yes, potatoes is now full. Let's just get rid of that stuff. Potatoes is I wanted you to upgrade. I've got the stuff already prepared for this, but let's just look 47 upgrades and I've got seven void upgrades I can make some more any time I want so let's put those onto potatoes and then double click this again and it should be unformed 514 yeah good so that sorted that out and as soon as you do that everything disappears in this chest it's very fast and I did move this to the middle and the reason I moved it to the middle I didn't say last time it's because it's got a shorter distance so things travel out of here Oh, of course I can't fly because I'm not going to armour with me. Um, things travel out of there will travel faster to the middle there. And it will block up less. And also for power, you'll notice I've got three sterling engines. Here, but I'm only using two. Actually, at the moment I'm using three because of the wireless connector. That's right, yes, because I put the wireless battery up here. So when the wireless battery is in use and it uses the three engines, and the lava is probably keeping up. Let's have a look. They all look fairly full, don't they? So I would say it's keeping up. Right. After spending 10 minutes doing that, let's have a look. I wanted to go and show you the quarry, but I can't do that yet until, until this stuff's repaired, which it's already done. Now I've got 
light and everything's repaired which is nice I, like, I prefer it that way <laughs> anyway let's go and do what we need to do so the quest was for now which one is it magical world I think is this one so we've got to make transferring ember or ash no we've got to make this one first of all an ember shard we've completed that one yes huh all right okay then we got to make an ember activator and an ember crystal okay so an that's what we need to make is an ember activator so what we got to do for the ember activator this thing so copper one furnace I made some furnaces and some iron plate now that's a good point actually I haven't got anywhere to yes I have I've got the iron plate ready we can make an iron plate so we need two iron plates don't we and the compactor is magna crucible I've got to figure out which compactor is. I think it's this one yes so that'll do that'll make plates won't it yes it will do fine good and copper ingots copper oh that could be interesting I don't think I have any copper but we can smelt some pretty quickly I've probably got 512 112 oh, I'll just stick it through the furnace here yeah. probably the quickest way isn't it? Like that. oh I needed six didn't I I think that's four Okay, I'm not getting more tripling but it's really to be honest with you I don't really need it no anyway so that's that one so what we need to do is this one what I'm missing just the furnace the furnace as I've made I think I brought them with me I did look let's put that furnace into here because it's sometimes used as a component so now we should be able to craft it up easily So now, I'm not 100% sure how to use this thing, but I reckon we've got to go and put it down where the other ember stuff is. Let's go and have a look at that. Um, my quarry is over, where's it gone to? Here. And I'm basically quarrying stuff out. Well, actually, let's just our thingy up. Now, you can't come too near this thing because we've got what's in some torches and like, and these things do will attack because they're not stunned mobs. So, let's just have a look, see if this makes any difference now. Makes really good noises, I like them. <laughs> light one on top of it how did that get there well it should go down a bit faster well to be dead honest with you I'm not sure if that was any faster or not but we are We got quite a few bits and pieces from it, but that was just a little bit of an aside just to test it out. I'll have to look what Evil Infused does. <laughs> so, this quarry here was I set it up to being just a sand one to start with, and then I changed it to being a clearing quarry so it should clear all of this out. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. Look at that. Wow, what I'm actually looking for, and I don't know if anybody knows it, is Prismarine. And now, does Prismarine exist? in the overworld because at the moment I've not definitely not seen any there's about what one or two blocks of lava here let's go and fill them up if we can that hard to tell isn't it whether the blocks are here there that should do it 
can reach. Oh, that's a bit of lag. And the same is presumably true over here. Oh, yep. I can hear it digging away. The quarry, that is. So that was that one done. Huh. It's a bit awkward here, isn't it? I'm afraid we should get a ta uh, something else here. Like that one, that'll do. Of course, lava takes a while to get disappear, doesn't it? But I've got my Inferium Chalice with me, so that's... Ooh. Just going to guess where it is. See if there's anything interesting behind underneath this lava basically is what I'm looking for. <laughs> Look at that. There's a quarry digging up all that stuff. Just catch the corner here, I was caught it or not. interesting <laughs> let's fly out of this lava hmm well that'll make me hungry anyway I'm wasting time here but this is basically the area I was wondering whether or not it would deal with that and I'm just seeing if I can see any prismarine in here well, it doesn't look like there's any let's go in this water cool off a bit there we go I'm also wondering if we see anything else like rock crystals. There's lots of stuff down here, obviously, but yellow right, different types of ores, and I think all this will disappear over time anyway. You can put some blocks down to stop it flowing. We're affected by water either. It's one of these things, features of the, the armor we've got. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's curious to see what's down here. So, this will be a very big hole when it's all finished. So, why didn't it. Our oh, book. Okay. Let's, evil, let's get the evil infused book, shall we? Well, not the book, it's not evil, but it only gets cross when you hit it. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to do now, see if I can get my sword practice without actually, <laughs> it seems to hit me more than I'm hitting it. There we go. So it dropped a book, Bane of Anthropods 3. That's quite a good book, really. But I'm not sure why the gravel didn't get picked up. Oh, of course, because it drops. That's right, yes. Gravel drops down. Anyway, I don't look so I can't see any prismarine around here. But it's doing an area about 24 high. Now, how do we get out of here? Ha. Uh. So now let's go over to our, where has it gone to, our quarry that I've actually set up for the ember stuff, I called it quarry, it's not, because the quarry is actually here. So now let's put this thing oh, down. Oh sorry about that, I just got interrupted. Um, I have to put this down, but we have to put it down on the block of uh, lava basically, well a block of copper, I've got a block of copper already prepared. You didn't see me do that. And what we do is put this down on copper, I think. 
the ember activator and then we put four blocks of lava around the outside of that so in that case I'm going to protect the area with some oh so I think the best I'm probably going to use is straightforward bricks have a look I've got plenty of nether bricks so let's use those so let's just set up a little area around so they're going to go basically there like that of a diamond pattern I suppose isn't it now yeah that's perfect I think that's perfect so we now put some lava I've got some buckets of lava from the other place also you didn't see me do that but I did it anyway so we've got some stuff prepared here so what we do is put the lava down here like this oops don't really want to go up there do I And then we need to feed this, or oh, put it in a slightly wrong pl bad place. Never mind. We need to feed feed this with some crystals like this, some ember shards, I think. So what I'm going to do with that? I also made some dials and things like that. We'll come to that in a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I just need some item ducks. Let's get some item ducks out of here. Oh, I need got some more emitters. I need. I made some emitters. Uh, item ducks. I like use the clear ones. I've got. I'm not seeing today. Am I? So that can connects to there. And then we basically all we need to do is take this out of here. Put that in there. Put it. I've got a couple here. Look. And I want to set up a filter on this. I want to filter whitelist. I want to whitelist shards. I'm not sure whether I need to whitelist shards, but all this whitelist shards anyway. So the shards will start to come in here. And then this should start to make ember. Now ember, if you don't know, is very much like um, mana, I would say, would probably be the nearest thing I can think of from Britannia. So it's the sort of power that you can sort of see for a distance. So what I'm going to do is cover up these blocks so the lava doesn't spit around the place. Like that. And this one covers that one up. So this one, <laughs> having said that, it set one on fire, didn't it? Now this one here, we can put a gauge on here. So we can also put an emitter. Let's get these out of the way. So a gauge. Now the recipe for a gauge is dead straightforward. So we'll cut the recipe for that. It's just a compass, piece of paper, and a ingot of copper, and it makes this ember ember dial here. And the ember dial you can put on top of this like this. Oh, I think we'll do it here. And then it tells me how much I've got in ember already, nearly already reached the top. Now what we can also do is we can transmit this power. I'm going to call it power because that's basically what it is out of here and I think that gets attached like that in fact I'm not really completely sure it, it's right but from the video I saw it seems to attach it to the side of this thing here like that and then that should I think that's the right one an ember emitter or oh. and then we should be able to pipe that or feed that into another device so let's go I've got another we got some devices prepared haven't we from before we got a melter for example let's put the melter down here and then we can put on the bottom of the melter I think it goes on the bottom it's the receptor an ember receptor and the recipe for these is also fairly straightforward it's just one chamomite plate two copper and two iron that makes four of these ember receptors so they're fairly fairly inexpensive and then what you do so you take your tink tinker's hammer, shift right click this this one and then right click the emitter and that's supposed to feed this into that but maybe I need a lever let's get a lever out of here I think that's what I was missing before when I was testing this out a lever, do we have a lever about 
Hopefully we do, but there's quite a chance that we don't. Right, okay, we'll make a lever in that case. <laughs> Ho! So we need some cobblestone. I just need my pickaxe that will break stone into cobblestone, and I'm not seeing it at the moment. These are all silk touch, they're no good at all. We need something that actually breaks it. Oh, this one will break it. Probably break it into the wrong stuff, but it doesn't matter very much. We'll just oh, try it, with, try it with this one. But yeah, we should get rocks. I've only got three rocks, I need another couple of rocks. Four rocks, okay, good. Is that all I got? Goodness. And that makes one piece of cobblestone. And then we've got some sticks. Oh, I haven't got any sticks. Okay, let's go, I have to go back, back and get some sticks. Or maybe I just hit a tree. So we don't have to spend too much time doing getting sticks. There's some oh, some leaves over here, look. And this evil aura. I've been doing some research while I was having a quick break. This evil aura basically kills grass as far as I can see. <laughs> so let's have a look. What have I got from that? Anything or nothing? Six. Oh yes, twelve sticks. Good. So we can now make a lever. And then power this. I think we'll put a lever on it, something like this, and then turn it on. Oh yes, it's working. So that's actually now giving power. In this case, it's giving power to the melter. We want to make some dawnstone, don't we? So with the melter, what do we have? We have four tanks at the bottom, if I remember rightly. Oh no, we don't. We make this makes molten liquid. I suspect we've got to make a second one of these. Great stuff. So let's go back to base. So that's actually working, and this will fill it up. I don't know how much ember it's got at the moment. Can we see? Not telling me as such, is it? But that will fill this up with the ember. That's a look at the gauge. So it's going down at the moment, but it should go down and it should also go up as the next piece of ember is processed. If I've got enough coal in here, oh, I've got plenty. Look, I've got plenty of ember. Those are crystals. Oh, the crystals aren't they? Let's put some shards in there. Or oh. yeah, sixty-four shards. They got took out straight away, didn't they? So what have we got in here now? Oh yes. So it's it's basically filling this up. Hopefully it does stop after a period of time. I'm not sure. It's the very first time I've played with um embers, so I'm never hundred percent sure what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Is this my is my evil aura killing these trees? Is that what's happening here? Because I don't remember hitting this tree here. Oh, there's a spider. But let's see what happens to the spider if we get rid of my evil aura on it. Well, good question. Not 100% sure. Should kill grass. Right, let's go back to base. Oh, there's a cloud flying through the, through the base. <laughs> now the next thing I can do is I can use it. The use of this we can make a shard and I think that's the one we need to do to finish the quest. Yes, there we go. Quest completed Ember. So let's have a look at that F4 and have a look at the quest. Oh, well, actually, I programmed mine onto F4, didn't I? So we need Magical World. So we've now completed Ember, which is good. So we get our loot chest, which we'll claim. Back, and that opens up Ash and Transferring Ember. Well, we've already, I've already done this, actually. So I'll make an Ember Emitter, an Ember Receptor, and an Ember Relay. I haven't done the Relay bit yet. And I've done this too late, so that's my problem, isn't it? Okay, so let's open up the loot chest. Oh, very bad. 
Oh, I want to get rid of these as well, for that matter. What I've done is I've created, I, I duplicated these if you can remember, and they've all got the same stuff in these three cases, in these three. So what I'm going to do, now I've got two wooden chest transporters here. I'm going to take the chest transporter, transport that one, transport that one, and go and put them straight into the trash can here. Oh, it didn't work. I'll try again. Look how that worked. Um, unfortunately, I need another one. Take a stack of 11. That's a strange number. Why did I get 11? Must have got another stack in here. Okay. So we just do a little trust transporter, which is a bit like this. And then we can put that into here. So right click this, then we can right click this without it in hand and put it in. Good. Let's get rid of those extra ones as it were. I've been meaning to do that for a while. So what did I want? I need it. Basically I need copper. Okay, good, that's fine. So we need to make a, an ember Let's have a look here. I was also I created a few seeds as well when I was thinking this one. So so we need an ember oh that's a relay, look. An ember relay. Okay. One iron plate, four, three copper ingots. Okay, and a ember beam splitter, an ember lantern. What's it look like? That's the receptor, which is two iron, two copper, and one chamomite plate. Okay, so I think I know what I need. So I basically need four of these. Four pieces of copper. Now I have set up a, so a seed for copper. Because it was going to be a problem, I think, is this one here. And I guess we can make eight ingots of copper, but if it's the standard recipe. Let's just try it. Oh, six. Six eights, 48. Okay, good. Okay, so I've got plenty of copper now. So we need some iron plates. Um, have I got some iron? Have I got a pl Let me just get rid of this stuff. I've got too much inventory stuff for me here. Put that, I can put that crystal up there. Okay, so the, real, the recipe for this one is that I can should be able to make that straight away, shouldn't we? Let's have to go doing that one. So it doesn't. I, oh, I'm chamomile plate. Chamomile plates are very straightforward. I've got some, but basically it's like that. Makes makes one of these. Take this, put it into a furnace, cook it up. We've done this before. You probably remember that already. So now let's try that again. Recipe for this one. Okay, good. Put those together. Recipe for this one. A little bit the same, but slightly different. Done. And then we just need to make the relay. Now the relay is slightly different, I think. An iron plate. Iron plates I can make. Let's get another piece of iron. And we'll put that into the which one is it? This one I think. Compact, yes. Make an iron plate. Doesn't matter which type of iron plate we use, of course, it's that one. So I can make the ember relay. So that compl completes transferring ember. So let's kind of look at that quest. Let's claim the loot chest. So now we have th three more quests. Ash, what do we have to do? A cinder plinth. I wonder how we can, if we can do a cinder plinth. Let's have a look. Well, let's open this loot chest up. Gold and copper nugget. That's sort of okay. <laughs> let's put the copper nuggets in here. Maybe we need those later on. For this particular um, pack, I don't know. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of those. Dead. I suspect dead saplings are useless. So I'm going to chuck those away. Let's 
So we need a cinder plinth, which is this one. Okay, a furnace, no problem. Lead plates, three lead plates, uh, two silver ingots. Okay, so I'm going to use this stuff here. I think that's diamond ore. What have we got in here? Doesn't look like lead, does it? This looks like lead. Got plenty of that, and this looks like it's one of these two, which is going to be silver. Tin ore. Okay, wrong one. <laughs> Yes, silver, good. Now, how much do I need? Because I've forgotten. And I'm going to do it the easy way. I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to stick them into the furnace like this. And this one, and that'll cook it up quite nicely. So we need lead plates, didn't we? So let's put the lead into the compactor here. That's good. Well, let's see if we can make the cinder plinth. What else do we need? A furnace? I think I've got some furnace, yes. But I have to be honest with you, I don't know what to do with this one. Uh, so we need a, some chamomile bricks, which is for chamomile. Okay, we can do that very quickly. Still got some flame in here for... I'm going to make those into bricks. And then we should be able to make the cinder plinth. The things go quite fast when you've got everything prepared, doesn't it? I only needed two silver ingots, okay. So what does that mean? Let's have a look. You might not have completed the quest yet, of course, there might be something else on it. An ash pile. So how do we make the ash pile? It must be something to do with the cinder plinth, but I'm not exactly sure what. Let's have a look it up. Here we go, ash pile. So a stamping recipe, that seems a bit strange. So we stamp, a flat stamp with a stamping recipe into alchemical waste. Ah, oh, that's a bit strange. I would have thought there'd be another way to do that. I'm sure it's got to be something to do with this. Thing. Let's look at the uses of the of the plinth. That might be the better way to go. That doesn't tell me any uses on this one. <laughs> tell you what, let's go and put it down and see what happens. I also created four more um, cloches. I'd already made these in, early on. I thought you put them down. So I basically moved the copper, the, the fluid pipe, to the front here like that and then put on here the water supply so everything could be then so we can get another set of uh, closures without any problem and if i need a little bit more power there's plenty of power there anyway because obviously two deals with um one row where's it gone to uh-huh did i remove it I think I did remove it actually because I called it quarry and it's not really a quarry is it it was a quarry at one stage let's just let's just label it I'll put it in the corner so it doesn't bother us too much oh, okay, we'll call it uh, remember the sort of a brownie color isn't it let's pick that one Safe. It's a bit orange. So let's have a look at what this thing is and how it works. Oh, that's not very interesting. I have a mob somewhere. Where is he? There. Oh yes, I made these into holes, didn't I? Probably should fill them in, in fact. Uh, I have a magical unbreaking wand, which I've also got to make one of these, but... Oops, what am I doing here? There we go. 
Nope, that should sort out that one hole. I'll sort out the other one. I've got another one here as well, which I created. Oops, nearly missed that. And the final one here, where I just where I dig out some, to get some cobblestone. Oh, not quite the final one. Look at this. Got holes everywhere. There we go. Right. I have no idea what to do with this. I'm going to have to look it up. Anyway. I think this is... Pro oh, yes, it stopped doing it. So this must be fully charged now with Ember. So... I think that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, I switch between episodes, what I'm going to do is have a look at that and see what I need to do for this cinder plinth. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.